Uh, You're in so much pain, huh? I am. Yeah. Hello, Spider-Man fans. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. We are still pretty much a couple months, maybe even a year away before we get more consistent Spider-Man 4 news, particularly Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4. Tom Holland's taking a break making other movies right now while Sony's going ahead and focusing on the solo spin-off villain films, Craven the Hunter, Madam Web, Venom 3, the five people out there hoping for the next appearance of Morbius the Marvel Legend. But even with that said, we recently got some updates from Sony themselves talking about Spider-Man 4 with some surprising details I was not expecting about this movie and could make me a little hesitant on this film. I'm gonna be breaking all those details down, but I'm gonna need you Spider-Man fans to give me your opinion. You hear these details coming from Sony themselves. Does this excite you more for Spider-Man 4 and the new college trilogy? Or does this make you go, Wait, what, really? As well as don't be forgetting to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so yes, Deadline went ahead and posted an article just yesterday with the Sony chairman, Tim Rothman, where they asked him a lot of questions about what Sony has planned for the future, and there were some interesting things let know about this article. Like, for one, they confirmed further that a Ghostbusters sequel is in the works after Ghostbusters Afterlife, that they're very excited for the future of that franchise. He even goes ahead and corrects some misinformation that has been spread online about Will Smith saying that Bad Boys 4 at Sony is not currently canceled. After that Oscar slap situation, there was reports that Bad Boys 4 was put on hold. Now he's saying here that's not necessarily the case. They still want to make that movie with Will Smith. But then, of course, a question you're always going to get asked if you're Sony is what's going on with Spider-Man, and this is what he had to say. He mentions at first that Sony's very focused on getting the animated Spider-Man movies made and released to the public, but then he says we hope to get working on the next Spider-Man movie, where the interviewer then asked him, with John Watts, Tom Holland, and Zendaya returning? where the Sony chairman went ahead and replied, the whole group, we hope. Then there are movies I would call adjacent to the Spider-Man universe, that's Craven, which we're shooting now, and Madam Web, which will start shooting in spring with S.J. Clarkson directing. And that's the part right there that's kind of blowing my mind right now, we just had a Sony chairman, an executive member, who is in charge of these Spider-Man movies, saying they hope to not only get Tom Holland, but Zendaya, and John Watts, the director, back for the fourth Spider-Man movie? That's kind of surprising for me. Because although it was never really officially confirmed that this would be the case, you would think after John Watts making three Spider-Man movies, Homecoming all the way to No Way Home, that that was kind of it for the John Watts vision about Spider-Man. And then the next trilogy we would see of Tom Holland would be by a new director with sort of a fresh new vision, kind of change up the style a little bit, and maybe do something different that John Watts didn't do. But to hear the Sony chairman say that they actually hope to to get John Watts back for this fourth movie? I'm on the up and down, man. Don't get me wrong, I love a lot of what John Watts did with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. There was some really great stuff he did throughout that trilogy, particularly in No Way Home. But part of me was like super excited to see another director take the helm of Spider-Man, start him off in this college trilogy where Peter Parker is at his lowest of the lows, living by himself, no friends, no family. The potential for classic Spider-Man stories that could happen is like through the freaking roof. So with Sony hoping to get John Watts back, I feel like I can kind of expect already what the movie will feel like and be and it just excites me a little less. This makes me even wonder a little bit more if these are the real reasons that John Watts went ahead and left the Fantastic Four movie. We recently heard that he's making like a Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus, but he's not necessarily gonna be the one doing the entirety of the show. He's just kind of overseeing it. I wonder if Sony went ahead and did the old slipperoo on Kevin Feige and was like, John Watts, we know Feige's offering you a lot of money. We're going to offer you Morbius money. Intriguing. Ain't nobody gonna say no to some Morbius money. But I can't also forget here that they mentioned Zendaya. Also, they want her back for the fourth Spider-Man movie. And that kind of surprised me, because I thought for the next Spider-Man movie, we might not see the characters of MJ or Ned. But Sony has it in their minds that Zendaya is an important character in the Spider-Man universe, and they're gonna bring them in, which makes me think they're gonna undo whatever spell MJ had at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, and she's gonna remember Peter Parker. I guess it's hard to blame Sony all the way for this, because when you look at stuff on paper, like, they don't want to go ahead and stray too far from the golden path because as much as some Spider-Man fans don't be loving John Watts and his vision, 
He's brought them nothing but money. Last two Spider-Man movies making over a billion dollars, having like a 90% or higher on Rotten Tomatoes. Sony was probably like, look, we already got something amazing with this guy. Do we really want to risk it with someone else that could be worse? I guess it's just after that post credit scene in Morbius that I've lost faith in whatever direction Sony has with their Spider-Man universe. Because I was willing to put like big money on the line to bet that the vulture Michael Keaton was going to be a villain again in Spider-Man 4 because the spell made it so that he forgot Peter Parker but remembers that Spider-Man put him in prison and took him away from his family I thought we would see him team up with Matt Gargan aka the Scorpion played by Michael Mando that needs to be utilized man you can't just tease him a long time ago and never bring him back especially with the Scorpion's origin story being so perfectly set up in the MCU because you have J. Jonah Jameson out there who is like a very successful news person made so much money off just hating Spider-Man I would so believe it that he invests some money in making a scorpion suit for Matt Gargan tells him hey go after the Spider-Man I'm gonna make your suit green after Mysterio because he was the best hero that ever lived but no we have no vulture now in the MCU we have no idea if scorpion will be returning ever at least we have Tom Holland in the black Spider-Man symbiote suit to look forward to but even that I'm curious to how they're gonna play it out like isn't it wild to think about the next Spider-Man movie we will see Tom Holland don the black symbiote suit and the storylines that could come with that. It's all just stuff as a Spider-Man fan that makes your mind race, but then there's always that thing at the back of your mind that's like, what is Sony trying to do with their spin-off Spider-Man universe and how are they going to include Tom Holland in it? Because anytime they interview Tom Hardy or even Jared Leto, they mention, oh yeah, I'm going to fight Tom Holland. Our fight will be intriguing. It'll be a good fight. They continue to tease it like it's something that they have planned and coming up in the works. And I just don't know if I'm ready for this college trilogy to lead up to a multiverse Sinister Six with more group of characters that have very little connections to our Tom Holland Spider-Man. Again, I just want to say this isn't me hating or not being excited for Spider-Man 4. I am going to be unbelievably excited for Spider-Man 4 when that movie gets made with or without John Watts. But I got to admit, I'm like 2% now less interested with Sony not wanting to take that much of a risk and just bring back the same creative team to not try new things with Spider-Man, which I was really looking forward to a refreshing new college trilogy with Tom Holland. But I throw it off to you guys. You hear that Sony wants to bring back John Watts and Daya, basically the whole creative team from those previous three Spider-Man movies for the new trilogy. Does that make you just as excited, a little less excited, hesitant? Would you want Sony taking more refreshing risks even if it means not being as good? And are you hoping Morbius the Marvel Legend returns? Anything everything, be sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at 3Cfilms or on TikTok at 3Cfilms. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care. Have sex, excel, excel. Put my hands against, put my best, I'm not sure how I got here. Has to do with Spider-Man, I think. Hope the food's better in this joint. Oh, put my spam to spam. Have sex, excel.